In this bowl, we have two and a half cups of flour, and to that, we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons salt. and mix that up. All right, now what you're gonna to wanna to do, Paige, is you're gonna to wanna to take the egg and you're gonna... You're gonna to wanna to take the egg and you're gonna to wanna to mix it with the sour cream. So take the egg, mix it with the sour cream and go ahead and whisk that well, okay? That's looking pretty good. All right, that's, that should be good. All right, so let me get you a spoon for that. I'll trade you. Oops. Okay, so now what we're gonna wanna do is put the butter in. Okay, you can just dump it all in there and try and break it up a little bit when it's going in there. And that'll be what you can with that. And the idea here is that we wanna Mix this together to get a crumble. We don't want to incorporate the butter with the flour because if we do that, we're going to make some kind of dough for like a bread or something. We want a pastry. And in order to get that pastry, we just want to break up the stuff enough to be like a crumble. What we're looking for is just for that crumble. So. Let it go for just a few here. Yep, it's crumbling. It's getting there. All right, let's try that now, see what happens. There's a couple big chunks. Okay, a couple big chunks is okay then. So, now what we wanna do is we wanna add half of that. All right. And go ahead and turn it back on. Do it on a low setting. And again, we're still looking for a crumble here. And we just want to incorporate a little bit of the flour and the liquid that we used, which was the sour cream and egg mixture. All right, now we want to go ahead and put the rest of the mixture in. and mix this back up on low speed and it should not take too long. It should start to come together into a dough-like structure. And this is called our pastry. to knock all that down off there but what you'll do now is you want to get it out of there 
and then you want to squeeze it into a ball shape. Now I'll take that for you. Wait a minute. Just put a little bit of flour on that there. Get it right there. And now just form it into a ball. All right, now cut it in half. Now give me one half and I'll roll this into a disc and you roll that into a disc. So, all right, that's looking pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is what with these things? Wrap them up and then put them in the fridge. For how long? For at least an hour. Okay, so now we've got our two discs here. We'll use one here to begin with and we'll go ahead and roll it out with a rolling pin. Flour our surface here, of course. You can be generous with the flour, and this is okay. <clears throat> All right. And now we'll go ahead and start to roll this out. Now, Paige, what happens if this cracks a lot? Um... We can squeeze it back together a little bit, right? Yeah. But um, if it wants to crack a lot, then, you know, we, we can get it back to some kind of shape that we need it to be in, right? We just got to get it thin enough. 12 inches is what we were looking for. And just every once in a while, just put them back together and you're going to be fine. All right, now what we can do is take our rolling pin and use that as a way to pick up our dough, our pastry dough. And then what we'll go ahead and do is place this in here as even as evenly as we think we can. All right. Now what we don't want to do is push this in. What we want to do is just let this sit. We're going to cover it in plastic wrap, put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. We're going to roll out this other one, this one, the same way we did this, cover it in plastic wrap on a cookie sheet and leave that in the oven for, or not the oven, the refrigerator for 30 minutes as well. And then once that's all done, we'll fill it and put everything together. So we need to turn the thing on to medium heat. So about right there. And we want to go ahead and put the butter in and melt it. Four tablespoons of butter. All right. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh, it's, well, it's moving. Okay, once that butter melts, then we're going to add uh, everything else. So let's just get it to a melt. I feel like playing the music from Jeopardy, the theme from Jeopardy. That's, that's what we should be listening to while we watch this mud, butter melt. What do you think, Paige? I don't know. You don't know what Jeopardy is, do you? Do you? I mean, I know it's a game. Yeah, but it's like, a game, yeah, yeah. I don't understand it because <laughs> we play math Jeopardy all the time, but like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> And everyone else, they can just raise their hand and there'll be an answer. And well, I'm like, just down at the ground, like, what do I answer? Like, I'll just answer <laughs> the math question. All right, that looks like pretty good melted butter. So Paige, go ahead and add one onion, diced. All right, and the two carrots, 
cut in chunks. All right, and the celery ribs cut in chunks. All right, now we wanna put the half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper in there. So yeah, we're gonna saute this um, in about six minutes. The onions are gonna get translucent, so they're gonna go clear a little bit. The vegetables are gonna get softened up and, and that'll be it. Now go ahead and stir it again. No, that's not hot. Okay. It just smells like ramen. All right, let's see. What else, What do you got to do now, Paige? The flour. Go ahead and add six tablespoons of flour to the mixture. And now mix well. And keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. It's going to get a little pasty. Oh, and here's a, here's a tip here. On the sides, that's why it's flat. You can just go. All right. That. And we're gonna cook that for about a minute, right? Make sure all the flour is not flour white anymore. It's all incorporated into the whole mixture. All right. Now what we wanna do is uh, go ahead and put in that uh, chicken broth. Slowly put it in those those Pyrex things can be a little tricky. All right, I'll go ahead and pour in the half and half. All right, go ahead and stir that around. And let's turn up the heat a little bit more. And once it comes to a boil, then we're gonna add the potatoes in there. Oh, there's something we're forgetting. Fresh thyme. We're gonna need that. Are you eating the chicken? No. I see little bubbles popping in here and there. Yeah, it's starting to boil. And it's getting thick. So once it comes to boil, um, we're gonna put the thyme in. And then the and potatoes. potatoes. And then it's gonna cook in about eight minutes. We want the ta potatoes to get a little tender. That's good. Go ahead and put the potatoes in. Uh, the fresh lime, the or fresh thyme. Let's put the fresh thyme in first. And now when, when the potatoes hit in there, it'll knock it all down. Careful it doesn't splash. Get a little lower, get a little lower. There you go. All right, now stir that up. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to turn that down to medium heat. Around mm. there, kind of. I'd say that's about medium heat right there because that's the knob there, so. That's about medium heat. It might start to boil a little bit more and we'll just keep stirring a little bit. So we're gonna cook this down and we're gonna thicken it in for about eight minutes. And then we're gonna add in the chicken, the rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Roast. And we're gonna add in, uh, what else are we gonna add in there? I know, oh, three quarters cup of frozen peas. All right, here's our three quarters cup of peas. Oh, oh, there it goes some. What are you, dropping them? Nope. We got the thyme in there. We got the carrots in there, or the potatoes in there. We need to thicken it. We need to put the chicken in there and add the peas. And then we put it in the prepared pie crust. You should probably get the pie crust out. Hmm? This is about to be done. You should probably get the pie crust out so it's ready. Now, 
Let's check out a potato. They're getting tender. We're gonna add the chicken and then the peas, and then we're gonna put it in the pie crust. That tastes good. <laughs> it should, we're making it. Everything we make tastes good, right? Say yes, that's all I want you to do. Yes. Yeah, I think everything we taste good, or everything we do tastes good, hold on. Let me get my uh, phone. <clears throat> Did you realize that my phone is recording this video we're watching? Mm -hmm. At least one of the videos we're doing, it's, it's recording. Bubbly, so it's a pastry. All right. Yeah, I think we're ready now. So we're gonna add in there the chicken. There you go. Stir that around. You don't, I'll probably get you a spoon now, huh? Nah. Yeah. No? Yeah, I'm fine with this. Okay. That should be a lot of chicken in there. Now we add the peas? Yep. Go ahead and add the peas in there. And stir that one up pretty well, too. There's some extra peas in there. You what? There are some extra peas. Oh, okay. That's looking like chicken pot pie filling. <laughs> All right, cool. That's it. Turn it off. Now we need to fill up our pie. Okay, now what we got to do is we got to put the filling in the pot pie. Now, again, you don't want to push the crust down into the pie because it will compact everything and the crust will not get crispy in the end. Oh, I'm spilling everywhere. You, you spilled some. Yeah, I see that. I spilled more. So we want everything to be crust, crusty in the end. All the crust, all the filling, all not the filling, but all the crust. Man, I just can't stop spilling, can I? Nope. Mmm. You're dripping it all over. Yeah, I'm dripping it everywhere. I see pot. that, I see that, I see that. That's all right. Okay, so we got everything in there now. Now we need the top. Now what we got to do is put the top on. Yes, we're making a mess. That's okay. That's okay. That's what we do. There we go. Now what we want to do is crimp this all around. Crimp? Crimp, you know, push. Right, isn't that what that means, crimp? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's what I think it means. I don't really pay attention to English. Well, you should. JK, I do. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take a pair of scissors after I've crimped that and I'm gonna cut around just to get them all that you want about a half an inch you know we should use some kind of kitchen shears instead of just regular scissors Sorry. okay those aren't regular fabric so we got them crimped now what we're going to do we're going to take one finger put it right in between there and do that and we're gonna do that all the way around the entire thing.
Okay, we want to put four slits in it. About two inches each. This allows the steam to escape. Because if you don't allow the steam to escape, then the pie is just going to turn into a big volcano in the end and all the filling will just come straight out. Kind of like a volcano cake, but not a cake. Yeah, something like that. All right, now what we're going to do is put it in the oven for 450 degrees and we're going to put it in a 450 degree oven. Let's see here for 18 to 20 minutes on the lowest rack drop that rack all the way to the lowest point that allows a little more cooking time and that allows the crust to crisp up now we want to drop the temperature to 375 and rotate the pan once we're done with that and just before we do this though we are going to have to brush this with some egg whites some eggs on the outside the oven preheated were you just eating all the mixture I mean, there wasn't much. No, ah, there was some. So now we're going to brush this with the egg uh, all over the whole thing. That's going to give it its color. Does it give it a bit more flavor? Mm, I don't know about much more flavor, but I know it gives it color. Right? Without it, you do not get a deep golden brown color. That's for sure. That probably won't look as good or appetizing. Maybe not. Oh. We'll make sure we get it all inside each of the crevices and everything. Make sure everything is crimped because if it's not crimped, now go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees. You can pull out the rack if you need to. Pull it out with the gloves, yeah. It's on the bottom though. It's okay, pull it out. It's it's gonna be okay. You can pull it out. You got it, you got it. It's stuck. Two hands, use two hands. There you go. Pull it out more. You can pull it out more. There you go. Alright, now turn that pie around. There you got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. All right, push it back just a little bit. There you go. Put it back in there. And bam, shut that door. Now we're going to set this for what? 15 minutes. 15 more minutes at 375 degrees. So we're going to turn it down to 375. It won't go down. Now we're going to press bake. Uh. Now press down. So 375, there you go. Start. Press start. There we go. That is the pot pie out of the oven. Okay, let's cut. That's all right. That looks pretty Maybe good. Took off the whole top. Well, you know what you do with that, right? You just scoop it out. You scoop it out, man. There you go. Um. What are you doing? There you go, there's one pot pie. All right, 